All right, new feature, rings. We now have the ability to push out updates based on the concept of rings. And if you're not familiar with the ring concept, what this is, and the theory is, is I want to test in a lab a set of patches. When I push those out to my next set of endpoints, my ring one, so call it my ring zero, is my lab. My ring one might be my IT folks, my fellow IT uh, uh, members. When I push it out to those folks, I want the exact same patches pushed out to that first ring that was tested in ring zero. And then uh, assuming that things um, were installed properly and we didn't see any major issues or we have a certain percentage of issues that we might allow, we can then roll those out to wider and wider rings out. Again, controlling how we manage those updates, how we manage those, those push outs to the larger environments. You can set different percentages of um, the failures that are allowed or the successes that are required before you push us out to the further rings. And you can uh, do exceptions at any point in those rings. If there are issues caught in an earlier ring, you just exclude that update from being pushed out further if it's causing problems. So um, very uh, excellent mechanism for better managing your environment. And uh, I'll be walking through that in the demo. Okay. All right. So I said I was going to talk about rings real quick. Let me jump over to the rings and let's take a look at that. All right, so this is the example of the rings. So when I'm creating my rings, um, you can you have a number of options available here. So this is my ring zero. This is my first ring. So in fact, I have Windows mandatory um, applications. I'm doing only critical and important updates here. And from here, I'm uh, setting a two-day wait period. That's fine. And then my next step is my ring zero endpoints that I want to push out. And I'm running these every 48 hours where I am going to go ahead and reboot my Ring Zero host every 48 hours. All right, for my Ring One, this would be for my folks in IT that are going to get these Ring Zero updates. So from here, since I'm running from a previous ring, I've select my Ring Zero as my um, source, source ring for the patches. So whatever patches get tested on this two-day ring, those are the only patches that will be allowed into my Ring One. I can define a success rate of whatever percent I want. By default, we're saying 70. And you can define it on the number of endpoints. So if I have, um, if I only have five endpoints in my ring zero, then I probably want to set that to five or four. Uh, again, it depends on your environment. You're going to need to adjust these parameters based on what's okay for you. And then um, I want to might, I might want to wait for my ring one seven days after they've been tested in ring zero. So even though my ring zero is running very often, only the patches that had been uh, pushed out over seven days ago would I allow them to go into my Ring 1 group. So uh, several different options available in here to better control exactly what's going on in the environment and how we're going to allow the patches from Ring 0 to get passed to Ring 1. And then from here, um, again, I can set my reboot options. So I'll set this to reboot automatically. And um, <clears throat> from here, taking a look, there's my Ring 1 group. And then from here, I can see I'm running this weekly on Mondays and Tuesday nights. So I'm testing this twice a week. So my IT folks know um, when they come in Tuesday morning, they might have a reboot standing by. Uh, same thing on Friday morning. They might have a reboot standing by to get those updates pushed out. And I'm only giving these guys five hours to get those things caught up and pushed out. Now, I could make this longer. This could be 24 hours. That'd be fine. Um, we'll just go ahead and say that at 24 hours. And then so for my next ring out, again, same concept. Um, this is going to be the validations from ring one. So only the stuff that passes ring one status will I allow into ring two here. And you can go and look at the deployment status and see what's going on here from a, from a what happened the last time I ran basis. If I saw a patch that caused problems from my ring one or from my ring zero, if I saw some issue, I could then go in and actually do an exclusion of that specific update that I saw that was problematic from here. So I would be able to identify, oh, this one patch did not work. So I don't want that going forward into my other environments. In fact, that patch caused instability and I had to back it out by hand. So that's definitely a patch I want to exclude here. So um, lots of flexibility, lots of functionality that they've added into this. This is really a fantastic new mechanism that allows us to do much finer control on what patches we allow each further ring out in my environment. So definitely something to be aware of and um, try and implement in your environment. 
depending on what makes sense for you. All right. So from here, I'm running it um, Sundays only. So in fact, I shouldn't have Saturdays checked here. I probably was demonstrating this to somebody else. And uh, so this will be Sunday only. Um, and maybe I'll set this up for a 24 hour catch up period. Although if these are servers, I wouldn't have to worry about that. But if they're end user workstations, I might need to do a 24 hour, even maybe a 48 hour to get these updates pushed out to my end users um, that are in ring two. Okay. So definitely you might have ring zero, one, two, three, four for your applications. And then a separate ring zero, one, two, three, four for your um, servers. In fact, you might have a ring set for each major application that you manage where you do controlled patching because some application hosts might have certain restrictions that other application hosts would not. So in fact, having a ring for each major application that you support, if they have different uh, requirements for patching, um, it's probably something you're going to see uh, implemented to, in your environment to make sure we only patch the things that need to be patched based on each application that we're managing. 